Hello everyone, I'm Martinus Bagus Wijaksono and today I would like to uh, present about how to control Siemens PLC S7-1200 using SCADA software. So, uh, in the next slide, there will be a movie about the system. So basically, uh, the system will be a PLC that will control a system which is a van to dry something in a chamber. So here there are two inputs which, is, which are start and stop button and the output will be connected to the van. Here the PLC that we use is Siemens uh, L7-1200 and we use one port output which is digital output Q0.0 so uh, when SCADA software is running then when we press the start button it will activate the port Q0.0 and then when we press the stop button the animation will stop and it will show off here and the output is also turned off okay in doing so first of all we have to uh, create the code in the via portal to control the Simon PLC. This is the via portal that we have and then this is the sample of the letter diagram in the Simon PLC. Then after we finish with this setup, then we can continue to uh, Simon software. In this Simon software, we will create user interface that will uh, be used to control the PLC and also create the animation of the system. So this is, uh, these are two buttons, start and stop button, and this is the system, the output. Uh, there, are, there is a fan that will be controlled by PLC. And uh, here, a uh, display with will uh, display the condition of the system on or off okay next we can continue to uh, via portal to create the PLC level diagram first of all we have to set the internet connection because uh, in order our computer can be connected to the PLC we will use a LAN port so that we have to set the port connection first we can go to uh, network network and internet setting here and then uh, we can go to change adapter option go to internet oh, sorry Ethernet here right click it and then go to properties and find the internet protocol version for TCP IPv4 here and click the properties and set the IP address to be like this 192.168.0.100 so actually uh, this is uh, the port number that we use for our computer because in the PLC this number will be 1 so we can use other number except 1 here I will use 100 ok after that we can close it and then we can try to run a TIA portal I already opened it and then we can go to create new project here and put the name I will use a uh, PLC Siemens
oke okay. klik create dia next we can go to configure a device click here and then add new device here and based on the PLC that we use we can choose Simatic S7 1200 here and go to CPU and find the CPU that we use that uh, relate to our PLC that we use here is CPU 1214C DC DC RLY or relay click it and then pick the last one here and click add Okay, we will have this kind of display of uh, our Tia portal. Then uh, first, I will go to uh, device configuration here. And then uh, we can find protection and security and choose the connection mechanism here and make sure that uh, we check the permit access with PUT get communication from remote partner just uh, check this uh, box and then check the access level make sure that full access is already checked all uh, in HMI read and write as well next we can go to PLC text double click the show all text and then we can make a new text here first is start button and then uh, for the address we will use memory here so for the operand again identifier here we will change to be m instead of i and then for address and bit number just leave it as zero and for a stop the next uh, text you can uh, use the next uh, m port which is 0 0.1 and for the output motor we can use operand identifier as q because we will uh, use uh, the output port and then for the address is zero bit number zero as well okay this is for the PLC pack next we can uh, go to uh, program block here in the program block we can go to main ob1 here to create letter diagram so for the letter diagram you can uh, follow this letter diagram so in the first letter there will be start and then normally close stop and also the output motor and then in order we can uh, let the output here then we can put another normally open here and make the let latching circuit and put this normally open contact as motor so basically when you press the start then uh, the motor will active here the contact will also active then it will latch the circuit will be latched 
so even we uh, release the start the motor still active to deactivate the motor we can press the stop button okay next we can uh, try to connect the PLC sorry to uh, the computer to the PLC can go online or we can go directly to download the, uh, the device here just click this download to the device button and then make sure that uh, the type that we use is PN or IE and then for PGPC interface you can use the uh, interface that connected to the PLC from our computer here find is Realtek PC IE and so on and then uh, we can start search okay we got the connection so here uh, we have a green light here so we can continue to click load to send uh, the letter from the computer to PLC and then we can click continue without synchronization and here for the uh, step modules for no action we can pick stop all and then continue to load and then finish now we have uh, done with uploading the file uploading the uh, letter diagram to the PLC now we can check using uh, monitoring here and test the letter okay we have the connection already so here uh, the start button condition still open stop on the uh, stop button close and motor still open and our PLC condition is also off in the the digital output 0, 0.0 so we can uh, modify the start button here right click the start button and then modify modify to 1 and it will uh, activate this row okay now this row already active and then as we can see there is a flat light up this is a digital output q0.0 that represent the motor that we have here and then to turn off you can uh, modify the stop button right click it modify and modify to one it will uh, deactivate the motor and also will turn off the led of digital q0.0 okay and then modify the start to be zero and this one is also zero okay so right now uh, our PLC is already work and then our letter also working well and then uh, we can uh, make it offline and we can continue to Simon application or Simon software so we can open Simon
click new project I will use PLC uh, then ok make it full screen so first uh, we can go to IO device here and then click new device this is the we can put the device name of our PLC so I will uh, put Siemens S7 1200 and then we can pick uh, for the manufacturer Siemens Siemens S7 series Ethernet send receive here then click OK And then for the communication port, uh, we can put the IP address of our PLC 192.168.0.1. Save. Next, we can add station here. For station name, I will put uh, because this is like a, a simulation for drying chamber. I will put the name of drying chamber, and then for the PLC CPU slot that we use is PLC uh, CPU slot number one. The address is on zero and one. So here the comfort is hundred. This is for our uh, computer. We can add the com block so uh, previously we use uh, the port input as m and then the address is zero and we use only one one uh, uh, sorry two two inputs here so we can put for the word is 10 and then we can add more com blocks for the output which is q zero and we can put the word also 10 okay we can save it and close now we can go to a database to create new tag so you can go to the database and then right click here at the blank space click new tag and put start and then use digital for the real tag we can pick io device here simon s7 1200 and then for the uh, address we can use uh, for the start is M0.0 .0. okay and then put new tag here stop digital real tag and then for the stop the address is M01 and the other or the last tag is motor as an output here for the motor we use the address is q00 okay we have finished uh, for the preparation now we can go to the user interface we can go to page one here and then put two buttons we can use switch or lamp click 
and then we can select the shape that we want to use here we have two state this is state 0 and state 1 and to for uh, determine the step step one go to library and then circular push button switch here uh, step one is like uh, zero position so I will use uh, white color here number 25 and then uh, for the step one because this is like a start button, so I will use a green color. Step one, and then open library, circular push button switch, green color here. Okay. I will put a lamp here. So uh, basically, when we press the button, then there will be a color so we can use lamp and then for tag I will pick the motor so basically when the motor active then the lamp will also active in the switch feature we use bit switch and then for the value we will use momentary and for the tag, we will use start because this is start button. Okay, and then we can pick another switch plan. And for the shape that we use, we will use the same circular push button switch. And for the zero condition, we will again use white color. And then for step one, because this is a stop button, so I will use red color instead of green. Okay, so for the pit switch, tag, we will use stop digital tag. And then for the value, we will use momentary value okay and then put this here so in order to make easy we can put a text here and put start double ticket we can uh, adjust the size here I will use a hundred for the width and height 50 and then we we'll make it transparent and for the color we we'll use uh, black we can copy the text and then put uh, on to second button and we can modify it to be stop okay. so this is the input next we can go to the output the output is a drying chamber so we can use animation bitmap here and then uh, for the file name we can choose cooling power here put in the middle and enlarge it so we have like a bigger drying chamber here double click it and then in the tag name we can use motor as digital tag next uh, I will put another text to show the condition of our chamber so this is like on and also the other will be off okay you can modify size will be 100 and 200 
and then uh, for the color will be green because this is like a on uh, condition so it should be green and then uh, it will be visible if the motor is active or in on condition don't forget to check the visible here and I will make it like a blinking while the motor is on so you can check the blink here and then for the tag name I will put motor also so it will be blinking while the motor is active and then the interval we can make it a little bit uh, higher the frequency so it will show blinking and don't forget to check the blinking box here okay we can arrange the position somewhere around there and then we can uh, adjust the off condition this also transparent and the color will be red for the off condition and then it should be visible when the motor is in off condition don't forget to check the visible and then it will be blinking while the motor is turning off so here the condition will be off and then the interval put a two and don't forget to check the blink box here okay i will uh, put it on top of on text here okay so next we can try to run the system here uh, click run simon's x here and then uh, save the page one that we have next we can uh, open page one that we have been saved before now as you can see the off condition is blinking here it means that the system is not run and then we can see also uh, the PLC condition the PLC condition is also blinking it means that uh, the, the PLC is ready so when we press the start button the system will run start button is pressed the system will run the condition is changed uh, to be on and then the green light is open and also the PLC here the PLC as we can see there is a light light up there is the uh, digital output LED of Q0.0 next if we press the stop button it will stop the system running system will stop and then uh, the, the output of the PLC is also light is also turned off again press the start button system run and the condition change to be on and if you press stop button the system will stop condition change to be off okay this is the end of my explanation presentation and thank you for your kind attention and thank you for watching this video see you in the next video